Mr. Mayor, fellow members of the City Council, in less than two hours, liquor will be declared illegal by decree of the distinguished gentlemen of our nation's Congress. To those beautiful, ignorant bastards. Yeah. Yeah. January 16th, 8.03 p.m., Johnny Torrio meeting with Nucky Thompson. Mr. Torrio. Jim Colosimo, Arnold Watstein, and Charlie Lucia. Jimmy Darmody, Al Capone. You guys gonna get into the liquor business, too? Your friend from New York, he just took us for 90 grand. You can't be half a gangster, Nucky. Not anymore. This entire city, this Sodom, will be cleansed all at once. You came back. You know, if I could stay right here with you, I would. I feel like the world out there is calling me. You're one of them, aren't you? You're not real. Bring yourself back online. <laughs> Do you know where you are? I'm in a dream. You're in my dream. I designed every part of this place. Not a theme park, but an entire world. You and everyone you know were built to gratify the desires of the people who pay to visit your world. Just don't forget, they're not real. What you and I do is so complicated. I need your help, Dolores. I think I made a mistake. So our creatures have been misbehaving. I think there may be something wrong with this world. No choice you ever made was your own. You have always been a prisoner. What if I told you I'm here to set you free? Very old friends. No, I wouldn't say friends, Dolores. I wouldn't say that at all. Do you wonder ever you're a bad man? The world needs bad men. We keep the other bad men from the door. Well, you don't pick your parents and you don't pick your partner. A smart guy who's steady is hard to find. You know, I was steady. Too smart. This is a world where nothing is solved. There are broader ideas at work. You ever see something like this? No, sir. Someone once told me that all your love, your hate, was all the same thing. It was all a dream. dreams made a monster at the end of it. for that matter is a give and a take. We are a family. So we're gonna deal with this 
as a family. All due respect, you got no fucking idea what it's like to be number one. Puss, don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't have any options, because you got friends. Friends that would die for you. Any thoughts at all on why you blacked out? I don't know. Stress, maybe. Is everybody in my life bananas or what? I got problems at work. I got problems at home. Oh, for you. Kill me now. Stab me now, please. You are his mother. And I don't think for one second that you don't know what you're doing to him. Grandma just called me. Started crying and hung up. So what, no fucking ZD now? Hey. hey. I'm not getting any satisfaction from my work either. What line of work are you in? Waste management consultant. You may run North Jersey, but you don't run your uncle Jordan. Just when they thought I was out, they pull me back in. <laughs> Our true enemy has yet to reveal himself. I'm warning you, do not do it! Enemies to the east. Enemies to the west. Enemies to the south. Enemies to the north. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. We're the last Lannisters. The last ones you count. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. And I will. The King of the North! Your father and brothers are gone, yet here you stand. Last best hope against the coming storm. If we don't put aside our enmities and band together, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. The Great War is here.